So we, I guess, I guess the first thing is I don't know the backgrounds of our seminary mm. is to define a couple of few words. So I'm going to talk about specimens. They are mostly little blood samples in tubes. They can also be other things, body parts, other samples, that kind of thing. And and potters, the ones who move the things around the system. So the way it worked uh, back when I was a potter five years or so ago was we had we we had to collect the the specimens from all the different parts of the hospital and deliver them to the lab. But some specimens are are urgent, some are actually time critical. So we'd have one person zigzagging around doing everything one at a time, and we'd have the other person walking around with a pager, going to each one that needed them urgently. And it was incredibly inefficient. And you ended up, you know, bumping into each other at different points, and you just turn up somewhere and that's just gone. And frankly, it's a real pain sometimes. So the solution we came up with and built was we had a sticker on every point where the specimens, the specimens get collected. So usually they are like little plastic boxes. So you get the specimens in, some more collected later. So each one has a sticker, the sticker has a QR code. QR code can be scanned with any phone, no need for an app or anything, and we'll show you what time that's going to be collected next, and we'll give whoever's whoever's putting the thing in the box, <coughs> for example, the, the nurse or doctor who's who's taking the sample, they can press the button to say this, this needs to go urgently. The Porto, meanwhile, has their own app which which is telling them just continuously where to go. And you can see over here. As they say they want one, as they press the button to say this one's done, they get told where to go next. Uh, that is an actual API request, so we do have a backlink, which that's what the reference that is. And what, what this is doing, if we go back to this kind of diagram, is it, it's grouping them quite efficiently so that they go as smoothly as possible in batches that combine the routine ones and the ones that need doing time critically, the ones that might, for example, free up a bed or allow someone to, to go home or to get treated sooner who needs it. So if you want this in your hospital right now, you need a printer, you need uh, a server where you can run the software, and each porter needs a smartphone. That's, that's the extent of it. This doesn't handle patient information, it's just purely boxes and have they got things in them or not. So it can be deployed really, really easily and, and cheaply. And I think that's everything. Judges, do you have any questions? It sounds, it sounds too good to be true. Yes. <laughs> but I know I remember the challenge of getting things around to the that One of the important things is this. Have they got smartphones? Uh, good, good question. I haven't been a porter for, for about just over five years now, so I can't, I can't tell you for sure. Um, from my point of view, though, compared to having to, if you're walking around in a box of things, you have to stop every two or three minutes to answer a, a bleep and then find the phone and wait and call the number. And while you're doing that, someone else bleeps you. Having a phone just tell you where to go and you can just, you know, put some music on and just get on with it or whatever seems seems like a, a better proposition for them, I, I, I hope. How complex is it to sort of, if you were to truly optimize the algorithm that tells you where to go next? Is there a lot of complexity there? Uh, <laughs> we used Google. Infinitely. Uh, yeah, it is very complex, ultimately, if, it complete, if you consider, consider all the factors. Um, but I think what we found was a variation on a vehicle delivery problem, which is like the traveling salesman problem, if you know it, um, but with multiple traveling salesmen. Um, and then we sort of mix that with a just a greedy heuristic over time um, to prioritize the urgent ones over the non urgent ones. So I think they're a re reasonably good solution, um, but no, it's not totally on. I think what we, we have here is a lot better than at least what they were using when I was last doing this job. Yeah. So you gen genuinely built this all this weekend? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Well done. Okay, we have, we have one question. Which, I don't know. Which of you put your hand up first? <laughs> well, you know, no, 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 no. challenge it would be to customize it per hospital. Yeah. So the algorithm is based on a time measure between locations, um, which but can you can actually introduce it to a time measure per quarter. 
So essentially just measure how long it takes uh, probably a reasonably pessimistic estimate of a quarter getting from one location to another. That's all. So you, so you should tell the algorithm the time difference between each location. So yep. from Ward A, the time to Ward B, C, D, if this is this, and it develops a model of your Okay, that's good. Cool. Okay, thank you very much.